He's gonna go ahead and negate. No, sir. I'm gonna go ahead and use Cyframe Gear Gamma, my boy. And he's like, well, boy, I'm gonna use Max C, my boy. I'm like, no, sir. I'm gonna use Call by the Grave. Boy, what are you gonna do? What? Super polymerization? Who plays that? What's going on, my boys? Welcome back to another episode of YT Dan, legendary duelist, my boy. We're getting in there. We're clapping some cheeks. The Gladiator Beast deck has finally evolved to its final form. A TCG ready power that has blown through Master Duels. So now this deck has the ability and the powers and the strength to clap in two worlds, my boy. I can clap you with the cardboard and I can clap you with my digital skills, my boy. As you can see, look at this beautiful mastery, my boy. 14 dubs, 14 dubs got in there and clapped uh, all the way to plat one, my boy. And we're gonna play all the duels and we're gonna do a fast duel replay of every single duel, except for the last four, cause the last four I was able to record live. So you guys can check that out. All right, my boy. So this is actually the last duel that I played on stream. And this stream was not, um, and this stream, this, yeah, this is the last duel I think I played on stream. So this is the first duel of the win streak, which is funny because he, this guy's playing burn and he used, um, these Ojama tokens, which are beasts, to clog up my board to prevent me from playing. But ironically, I can use those tokens to Lake Summon because they're beast monsters. And that works perfect with the synergy of my deck. Really makes you think, like, you know, can you get any beast tokens going in your deck to get some extra links going? Because it's kind of crazy. So, you know, we're just going to go ahead and continuously blow up well he's using all his stuff to get things moving but one card that i used was this card right here to destroy uh cards when i take damage a lot of people don't know but this card if you take effect damage you can destroy a card too so it came in very handy uh during this duel my boy so he's gonna keep going banishing my stuff from the grave negating my effects dealing 2000 damage absolutely disgusting but here's game time because you already know you got to have the board state if you put out the dragazis it's game time absolute game time so we're gonna go full combo test panther add the comeback come back because we're playing against this guy's deck and i made a mistake right here because this is a beast warrior and play comeback you got to remember to get all your beast warriors off the field before you play comeback if you're trying to bring back tamer editor but i had to go into link three based on what i had on the board i think um so yeah we're just going right in there my boy or maybe i went into link three by accident but regardless it doesn't matter because we're gonna follow up and we're gonna bring it all back my boy so in the end i was still able to achieve my board state my game winning board state is Gary Beast Heraklinos, Domitianus, Tamer Editor, brought back from a um, Gary Beast comeback, and then a boss monster, a boss link monster, which is Appaloosa. So I chose Appaloosa because, you know, obviously he's not getting around this uh, with the spell card and a monster card short of um, Lava Golem is game. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and finish him off real quick. Cause he basically tried to scam a trap card onto the field to deal um, 600 damage to finish me. So we're gonna go ahead and end the duel. Now we're gonna go ahead and um, contact, well not contact, Link Fusion back into Dragazis, which basically says that he can't stop me from, uh, you know, attacking my boy with Domitianus. So we're getting in there. All right, here we go, my boy. Second duel. Open up with Cerberus in hand, and this is, oh, it's the Eldritch Lord. So we already know how this guy plays. All right, so he didn't play um, a ton of stuff, and he didn't have Imperial Order or Solemn Judgment, which is incredible. So I'm just gonna go off, and then he's gonna try to stop me. I've got called by the grave, my boy. 
so spicy. So what I realized, what's very effective, is that outs with spell cards, like Called by the Grave, typically go undisturbed or uninterrupted. And when I realized that, I decided that it was the best bet to play um, Cross Out Designator. Because there's not many outs to Cross Out Designator. There's outs to Ash, there's outs to Max C, but there's no outs to Cross Out Designator or um, Called by the Grave which is why Call to by the Grave is at um, two or one in the TCG. So I saw so making that realization, I had to go ahead and get those cross out designators, my boy. But we went off and had our attack and we're gonna go full combo. And this deck is so consistent and powerful that if I get my attack off, I'm going full combo and there's nothing you can do about it. And all you have to do is just sit back and enjoy the majesty and magistry and mastery of my gladiator beast. <laughs> so what I like about the combo now, we're doing all of our link summoning. We're doing full combo under all Mirage. So this means not only do I have my new boss monster, Unchained Abomination, who can destroy a card at the end of every turn. And also if I destroy a card, excuse me, oh, hiccups. If I destroy a card during the turn, he can destroy another card. So basically, this card is pretty disgusting if you get it on board, but it's sitting on board with Gaiavis Heraklonos and Domitianus under All Mirage. So if he tries to destroy my monster at all, All Mirage is gonna be able to protect him. So he's not gonna be able to win. So this card actually beats Golden Lord, hands down. They can't defend against this because he's gonna set the Sanguine and now I'm gonna pop the Sanguine. So let me go ahead and, oh, he said two Sanguine, lol. So we're gonna go ahead and pop the Sanguine. Then we're gonna use Hurt to negate the second Sanguine. And then we're gonna use Domiti Anus to make sure that the Golden Lord stays dead. So the Golden Lord can't recover from this combo. They just cannot recover from this combo. Yeah, so it's just over for them. So go ahead, go ahead keep the Golden Lord dead. Abomination's effect to destroy a card face down. I'll take the other Sanguine, my boy. Get your ass out of here. Great. Great, 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 great. Come on, man. Come on, man. What do you want? What do you want here? I think this is, oh yeah, this is Phantom Knights. So what I like about the deck too, is that in most cases, um, you know, if you're using your Ash Blossom, right, on the first turn, and your opponent uses stuff to counter Ash, that's less stuff that they're gonna have to counter you, versus if you like hold on to it. But you gotta really play that by ear, depending on your hand. And basically, I decided to go ahead and use the Ash now. If he has something to counter me, then, you know, so be it. I had Harpy's Feather Duster in my hand. So my thought was, well, this deck normally puts a bunch of junk on the board and then goes ahead and sets the Fog Blade and whatever else. So I was pretty confident on that Ash. So he's just gonna go ahead and finish his Rusty combo, setting the Fog Blade and setting the, the Fog Wings, I guess. Maxi, bro. So he Maxi, as soon as I draw, to make sure I just don't do anything, trying to intimidate me in the passing turn. And um, I honestly, I don't remember what I did here, but I think, oh yeah, did I give him, did I give him everything he was looking for? Oh yeah, I gave him everything he was looking for. I think we go in on this one. I think we Dragon Ball Z go in on this one. I think I take Maxi, oh yeah, I took Maxi challenge to the maximum, my boy. Let's go. I took him all the way on, my boy. Full combo, I took him all the way on, my boy. Let's go. Because the reason why I took him on is because I know that in this deck, the only thing that he could probably stop me with is a Nibiru. And he's, he's got to have it. Flat out. He's got to have it. And I don't, and I'm saying, you don't got it. That's what I'm saying. I'm, that's what I'm saying right here. I'm saying to him, you don't got a Nibiru. You, you can't stop me. Because once I get this field set up, he's not going to be able to recover because we know how this deck is played because we got a mastery of the game now because we have been playing this meta for a minute. We know that this deck 
just pretty much need monster effects to go. And we can stop a couple of spells. And we did not destroy this monster. That's key thing. I didn't kill this monster. You wonder why I didn't go into Abomination. I went to Abomination and I destroyed this thing. Or I went into anything else to try to remove this thing. He would have a full hand of cards and no cards on the field. So that means that he can play Lightning Storm. That means that he can play Cyframe. So I left his monster so that he couldn't play any of that shit. So again, learning stuff about the game. And uh, he's playing Max C to try to bait like negates off of me. I'm not gonna negate a Max C. So he's gonna do some danger stuff. Look at him, all these cards. He's desperately searching for a way to win. Like he's trying to find something. But I'm too smart for him because I know exactly what he's doing, which is a whole lot of nothing. He put all this shit on the board, and I'm like, you you don't got anything. And I was like, and if you got Cold Talker, I want to talk to him. Let me let me see it, my boy. So we're gonna keep we're gonna keep stopping him. So he tried to destroy me using this card's effect, but I had the All Mirage on the board. Remember, I said sitting All Mirage at the top is disgusting. So All Mirage on the top with Appaloosa, Herc, and Domitianus. All Mirage pops off to protect um, Appaloosa. He can't destroy it. Force him to battle, attacks into Domitianus. Force him to battle, attacks into Domitianus. He's disgusted now. He's not only am I routing him, he's not reading either. There's nothing he can do. So this man took the Max C challenge and, and failed because of All Mirage and my Gladiator combo. My boy, All Mirage with Gladiators, disgusting. When I learned how to play my deck, I never missed. When I learned how to play my deck, my boy, yes, my boy, I made this deck, but I had to learn it. It's so it's so incredible to finally, to that I can finally say that this deck is not only real, but this is my deck, my boy. This is my deck, my boy. It, feel, it feels so good, my boy. It feels so good. So Dragon's Ravine, let's go. And I think, yeah, this is like Rocket something it's a rocket combination it's right here my boy i got the whole deck my boy right here my boy ready ready i got the whole deck ready we going to locals with this my boy got the whole deck clapping clapping got the whole deck sitting right here so we're gonna be getting in here and we're gonna be clapping some cheeks now watch this. All right, so they got a nice little board set up. So I draw into my Regeki, Called by the Grave, and I have Cyframe Gamma. This is what I love about the deck because I think, I think it was either this, one of the duels, I can't remember which duel, but the duel that like convinced me that Crossout Designator was the best card. So I think this is the first duel I dueled with Crossout Designator in the deck. And I was so disgusted not to open with a Crossout Designator when I could have crossed out designated that card, <laughs> but whatever. So he's gonna stall and keep me from playing anything. But honestly, what I really love about this deck is that I'm not worried about that because I have so much counterplay. It's ridiculous. The counterplay should keep me alive because as long as, as I can keep his board from getting too ridiculous, I can not only negate and destroy a card, I can put two bodies on the field to defend me. So I'm not worried about dying. This card actually got me a little flustered and I was surprised because I thought he had more combo, but he went into battle here and I remember being shocked. Like, oh shit. And did double checking to make sure everybody was in attack mode, but they were not. You got two boys in defense position. But I was worried about this card um, because this card can mess with my extra deck and I didn't want, want that to happen. So IP Mascarena, link one for Striker Dragon. Striker Dragon's effect, I let that go through. Add a card. All these cards are useless to me, by the way. All these cards mean nothing to me. All these cards are like trash, actually. Like, all, like none of these cards mean anything. This means nothing. This means nothing. You need a more formidable boss at this point. So I draw the second call by the grave. I'm disgusted. Because now I'm playing three crossout designators. And to draw two called by the graves and a regeki, I'm like, bro, come on. 
But whatever. We're going to go ahead and Raigeki and blow this board up. He's going to go ahead and chain. Then I'm going to go ahead and chain. Ooh, chain link four. I'm going to summon. I'm going to negate. And you know what's coming next. A synchro, my boy. All right. So we're going to go ahead and summon. Negate. Now, what I love about the side frame uh, combo is not only does it negate and put a body off the board, but when I go ahead and synchro summon into Lord Omega, Lord Omega is going to take a card out the hand, baby. So it all pushes more and more and more and more and more into my uh, deck, basically. It just continuously pushes into messing with my opponent's options. So that could be a Nibiru in hand for all I know, but it doesn't matter. So I'm going to go ahead and Omega, get that out of there. Fractal, let's get the Fractal combo going. He can't do anything about that. And you already know what's coming next because now I've got a clear pathway to go in for game. So yeah, it's game time, boys. So you already know what happens here. Seven tube Gladiator Beast Monsters, Contact Fusion Tamer Editor. Tamer Editor brings out Domitianus. Domitianus guards the field. Test Panther, go ahead and grab Comeback. Comeback, bring back the editor. Go ahead and activate and go full combo. Gazarus, blow up a card. This card can't be destroyed. Let's go ahead and bring back another one. Then, Tamer Editor, Herc, Link 4, Banish. Show ass dead. Nope. <laughs> Yes, it's so good. So good. So, yeah, he couldn't take any more of that, my boy. He couldn't take any more of that. And I had to play the two call by the Graves. But I didn't have to play it. I could have negated with Domitianus. But I played the call by the Grave because I felt like that would be demoralizing. And that would make him quit because I had already played call by the Grave. So, you know how disgusted, um, you know, people get. Now, also, what's funny, did you notice that the Dark Magician does a T-pose? Oh, he does a Michael Jackson thing. He was like, hee, <laughs> All right, Rescue Cat, Maxi, Ash, of course, Sanguine. He's like, well, now I can do Sanguine because you already used Ash, which which is fine. I, I get why he did that. So now I'm a little worried. I was thinking, does he have that counter trap face down? But at this point, you know, might as well find out, right? Yeet. No counter trap. All right. You got the skill drain, brother. Solemn Judgment. Damn. All right. Going to have to draw and send one back and then do the Tri Brigade Kick combo. Then he's going to summon a monster back. So, so you know this is game time, right? You know this is game time, right? You know I got game, right? All right. But let's do it. You know I got game, right? You know I got game, right? You know I got game, right? All right. Watch this. Gonna dump the Cerberus, activate the effect, Dragazis, attack into the Golden Lord, then use my monster's effect in the grave, destroy the Golden Lord. He'll never stand back up. This deck will not stand back up after that. After you put the Golden Lord in the grave, the Golden Lord's not coming back, and destroying a card at the end of every turn is gonna prevent him from standing back up. It can't do it. He can't do it. Look at the Dark Magician, just like, damn it, he scooped. 14 games, 14 games. Oh my God, 14 games. Just watching this over again is so hype. Watching this is so crazy. All right, now your boy's playing Max C. Only playing Max C now because I used uh, Watchmajig. So, Goes ahead and links one into this. I didn't use Maxi. I wanted him to discard a card for that before I use Maxi, and he did. Maxi, bro. I wanted him to fully invest in it, but then he went ahead and hit me with that Ash Blossom, which is fine because I have Gamma. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So we stopped Ash. We got Ash and. Um, uh, a Gamma out. Disgusting. And we got Maxi off. So it's pretty gross. And draw for turn. Now I got Designator in my hand. Like, now nah, I'm going to win. I have Designator and Call by the Grave. I can't be stopped now. There's literally nothing he can do. 
designator and call by the grave is game. But he's gonna use that effect to put it back in the hand. I'm just gonna normal summon again. And it's game time. It's game time. All I got to do is get it out. But what's crazy is he already used his ash. So like like you know, nullify it basically. Situation nullify. But if even if he did have it, I still got game. I still got the counter. So what's crazy is if I don't have to use these cards to counter you, they get to stay in my hand for my Heraklinos play. And that's even more devastating. So this is this is pretty dangerous for the boy. Like I, I don't know. Like like he's not gonna be able to escape my wrath, my boy. We're going full combo here. Gazarus, destroy, send back tamer editor, send back Equestus, add a spell card to the hand, it's the comeback. Then go ahead and contact Fuse, Tamer Editor. Tamer Editor summons Domitianus. Activate. Oh, we don't do the, we don't activate yet. We gotta link it all off first. My bad, get ahead of myself. Link it all off for Appaloosa. Then we're gonna go ahead and play the comeback to bring back the Tamer Editor. Now, first off, I wanna point this out. Why go into Appaloosa when I could go into any other uh, boss monster? Going into Appaloosa, cause, because this is Tri Brigade, and I know the deck is mostly monsters. That's the only reason. So same setup. Can't be killed by battle. Negate your monsters, negate your spells, and negate the rest of your deck. So Harpy's Feather Duster to try to hit my cross out designator. Like he's like nothing. Like there's nothing he can do. Because even if he drew like Regeki or Lightning Storm, I have cross out designator that can negate that card. Crazy. So good. So good. All right. So looks like this guy didn't do anything and left his field wide open, but I got Imperm and Crossout Designator in my hand. I'm like, I can't be stopped. Like, I can't lose. I cannot lose. When I got Crossout Designator in my hand, I can't lose. Hit him with the Dragazis. It's so consistent now. It's insane. It's so consistent now. It's insane. So here's Nibiru. Now here's a good question. Dan, why don't you have Nibiru inside of this deck? And here's the reason why. Here's the reason why. Because this deck, if I just use a rescue cat, which I did, I think, in the beginning of this combo. No, I didn't use a rescue cat. I'm just using um, one Tri Brigade monster. You can pretty much get into full combo with just one card, one monster, right? And that's what I did. Because I did that and he hits me with Nibiru, I still got five cards in hand. I'm not fully invested and I can continue to play around it. So let's, let's just see what happens. Plus also Nibiru just bricks hard for me and I just never get to use Nibiru. So I like to just play around Nibiru. So we somehow unchained Abomination and then we're gonna go ahead and blow Nibiru away. And then we set Imperm and cross our Designator. So he can't play Regeki. He can't play Dark, well, he can't play Dark Ruler no more. No, 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 he can't play Dark Ruler no more because I can negate it with cross out Designator. He can't play Lightning Storm, can't play anything but he doesn't know that I have Designator, but I have Designator and an Imperm and this card. If he can't answer it this turn, he loses. If he can't answer it right now, it's over. He couldn't answer it. All right, we open up another hand. No cross out Designator, right? So this is the whole thing. When you add in, and I've realized this, when you add in one or two cards and you hoping that that card makes your deck better, it's disappointing when you don't see the card but when you see other cards, it makes you kind of be like, ah, I wish it was that other card. But with Crossout Designator being in a deck, if I don't see Crossout Designator, the beauty part is I'm seeing everything else. And if I do see everything, uh, Crossout Designator, that means I'm not seeing everything else. That means all my Crossout Designators are live. So we Dark Ruler no more to negate this. And then we go ahead and hit Harpy's Feather Duster to knock out the back row. What's insane is he activates this effect and I just see an opportunity to plus up 
because basically this effect is negated and he didn't have to activate it. But since he activated it, I can use Gamma's effect. So I am gonna use it. Then he uses Ash, which makes it even better for me. And then I go ahead and hit it with Call by the Grave. And it's like, okay, like what else he got? And I don't think he has anything else after that. But that's great because not only was this card already negated and he didn't have to activate the effect, but because he activated the effect, I can go ahead and take advantage. Which is why you shouldn't frivolously act effects, activate effects. So here's Cyframe Lord Omega. I'm gonna go ahead and take a card right out of his hand right now. And we got the right card. This card can come out of his hand and negate effects. So that's definitely the right card. And this is one of those duels where Cyframe Lord Omega came in clutch. And look, no hand, but we going in for full combo, baby. Now see, this is the idea of the deck. This is really what the deck is about. I'm supposed to go all in on the second turn and take everything from you and then set up my board. This is true Gladiator Beast because after I set this board up, I'm gonna have cards in hand and I'm gonna have all my negates on the field and a link for boss monster, my boy. All off of one attack, my boy. Just one attack, let's go. Didn't even deal damage on him. Didn't deal damage on him. He's like, bruh. <laughs> Here we go. Set two in the back row. What's this? Eldridge or something? Feather dust off. Does what well, heavy storm duster and compulsory evacuation device? Who hurt you, sir? The Eldridge hurt him. So give him the Dragazis. Yeah. Yeah, he took it. Yes, easy money, easy money. No hand trap negation, only imperm, but that's on field, not on mine, opening with imperm and nothing else. But, you know, I would prefer to have other things, obviously. But clearly, that's all, all he had. I didn't actually open up with nothing else. I had uh, Harvey's Feather Duster, which, you know, is the reason why all this is happening. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Yes, get out of here. Mm -mm -mm. This is the last one, my boys. And if you've watched this video all the way to the end, my boy, just checked out these replays and you want to in depth, like deep dive into this deck, I implore you to watch the second video because this is going to be pretty long. Oh, and this is actually the perfect example of the deck. This is a perfect example of the deck. This last duel is the best duel of the 10. This is the 10th game on the win streak of 14 games. This is the best duel. This is a, this is literally the idea of this deck personified to the maximum. And we we do everything. We do everything in this deck. So, and it's against tri A2, which is a pseudo mirror match for us. You know, we're not playing tri Brigade fully. We're using tri Brigade as an engine to summon Gladiator Beast. And that's a lot different than what he's doing because he's basically running pure tri Brigade with a Zodiac twist. But I'm running full power Gladiator Beast with a tri Brigade engine, my boy. So this is gonna be spicy. As you can see, I got game on board, but can you see how I have game? Do you understand what I'm gonna do to him? Cause you know what I'm gonna do to him, my boy. You know what I'm gonna do to him and he's gonna not like it at all. Watch this. Ooh, and I pull a car by the grave, get out of here. Fractal's effect. He's gonna go ahead and negate. No, sir. I'm gonna go ahead and use Cyframe Gear Gamma, my boy. And he's like, well, boy, I'm gonna use Max C, my boy. I'm like, no, sir. I'm gonna use Call by the Grave. Boy, what are you gonna do? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Summon, negate, destroy. And we're not done. Cause you know what that face down is? This is a revolt. So we've got revolt and a Zodiac monster on board. He's not gonna be able to withstand this. Gonna go ahead and synchro summon. Bringing out level eight, Cyframe Lord Omega. Then we're gonna go ahead and summon a monster special summon. Then we're gonna cross out designator, cross out designator tri brigade revolt. Yes. Instead of running the Biru, I run revolt. 
and we're gonna stop the revolt. <laughs> Cause a lot of people play Tri Brigade, so we run Tri Brigade Revolt to um, with Crosshide Designator. So that's in place of Nibiru. We use Revolt, my boy. And I think that that's a, a nice substitute. I think that's a better substitute. So full, full combo with Omega. So right now there is four more wins to plat one. Can I do it all in one video? I'm gonna try it, my boys. Four Ws, that will mean I'll have a 14 game win streak and plat. The Edlidge. All right, here we go. You already know what's up. <laughs> it's the Eldritch. They're gonna have to catch these hands. Beast monster, something like that. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Better. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. All right. So first we're gonna lighten a storm. That's our once per turn. Go ahead and destroy all those spells and traps for me, please, sir. Yikes. Yikes, <laughs> yikes, yikes. All right, so I've got to attempt to get him here. So let's do it. Let's activate fractal effect. Let's see if he negates or activates Max C. Max C, absolutely fine, my boy. I'm gonna go ahead and call you right by the grave. So no drawing for you. And allow me to continue my business, sir. Dump it. And then go ahead and add a card to the graveyard. And then add a card to the hand. Yes. Then we're gonna go ahead and summon and activate the monster's effect. For two. Oh, and it's going through. What we got? Yep. We got game on board. This is game on board. This, these two monsters is game on board in this deck. Attack cannot be interrupted. So that means that I'm going to get my effect. And then here we get one and we get two. So we're going to summon this. And we're gonna summon this. So we're gonna dump from the deck and increase our level to level eight. Now we're not gonna do the other one. Then we're gonna go ahead and use our special mode of fusion called contact fusion. You put two gladiator beast monsters back in the deck to fusion summon the monster. It's the ultimate tag out. Then you're gonna use tamer editor's effect to summon Domitianus. This monster will control the battle and stop monsters from using their effects, destroying them in the process. They can't escape from this power. Then we're gonna go ahead and link summon, link two, and to test Panther. Game is already secured here. There's nothing he can do. I absolutely have him. He's completely he is completely lost. He doesn't even know it yet. That's the beauty part. That's the beauty of Gladiator Beast. No one knows what I'm doing because I am the only Gladiator Beast warrior in Master Duel playing a TCG ready deck. It's the most powerful weapon because it's a weapon that they are unaware of. So let's do it. Let's clap his cheeks. Dedius, come forth. Darius with special summon a monster from the grave. Rise. Augustus. And with enough links on the field, I'll bring forth your ultimate destruction. It's time. It's the abomination. <laughs> Your Eldritch deck won't be able to stand up to that. It's over. They can't beat Unchained Abomination and they can't beat um, the Gladiator Beast because Unchained Abomination destroys cards during the end phase. So I'm gonna set the Sanguine Dog. I'm gonna pop the Sanguine Dog.
So he can't escape. I won't allow this monster to stand up. Super polymerization? Impossible. Impossible. Nani. Nani. What? Super polymerization? Who plays that? Impossible. He had a super polymerization. I can't believe it. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That's insane. Bastard. You bastard. You bastard. How dare you? I'm gonna make him pay for that. He's gonna pay for that. Oh, he's gonna pay for that. Oh, you're gonna pay for that. Oh, yeah. This is some bullshit. He had super polymerization. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Not gonna lie, that's ridiculous. Summon limit. <laughs> Fool. That's not enough to stop me. Son, you, you've incurred my wrath, my boy. You are literally gonna get wrath. We can't do rescue cat. We can't do this. I'm gonna make you pay. I'm gonna make you suffer for messing with me, my boy. I'm gonna get you, and I'm gonna get you good. Let's do this. Let's do it here and do this. Let's go all the way. One, two, three. Uh, four. No, four. Let's do this. I'm gonna clap your cheeks, boy. You ain't coming back from this. You're going out. I'm gonna get you. Nani? Get out of here. That's all I got left. <laughs> Yes, let's go. 11 doves. Let's go. This man played super polymerization, bro. That's crazy. Super polymerization. That's absolutely insane. Super polymerization, bro. Come on. That's crazy. Go on second. I'll take it. That's sick. Super polymerization, bro. Yes. Mmm. This is game time right here. This is game time. This is game time. Love this hand. I finally found the balance. Oh, no. This is the bird up shit. Yeah, this is the bird shit. But you know what though? <laughs> I can clap the bird. I can clap the bird with these. This is bird clapping combo right here. But even if he puts everything out with the Omni negate, I think I can get around it. Cause I can just, you know, use this for my hand. Then he's gonna be like, oh, negate. And then I'm gonna be like, gamma. And he's gonna be like, nah, me. And I'm gonna say, yes. <laughs> And then the rest of the combo continues. But then he's got a, then he's got all his stuff that he has in his hand. Also, I could let him fully invest in his entire combo. And when he ends the turn with sovereignty to uh, finish up everything, I could go ahead and negate the sovereignty. And then, <laughs> uh, then you know 
he'd be asked out. I'm pretty sure. And then I wouldn't get the summon, of course. And then I would just have Ash to stop a maxi. But I would need to draw my weapon to, the, to have the ultimate control. But we'll see what happens. Yes. This is crazy, bro. 11 games. You even got a little tri-brigade action in there. This dude's trying to make the most undefeatable board. Yes. I forgot what they make with all this crap. Uh, I know I know when it's like their turn attacking in, they can do a bunch of stuff, but I don't really know what he's gonna do turn one. And he chose this. He, he was like, you go first. I mean, he said, I'll take first, so. <laughs> Nani? The same time. Oh. Yeah, I, I know this guy. Okay. Let's read this cat. Um. Do, 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 do. Cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Once per turn, when your opponent activates a monster effect, a uh, quick effect, you can use this uh, dropper material and negate the activation and uh, gain it up. That's fine. What did he do? How many did he banish? Oh, he banished three. Uh, okay. Fine. Sovereignty. So this is that part I was talking about. So yeah, he's gonna try to special. Then he's gonna use this guy to pop the effect. Then, damn. He can union carrier, he can do all that shit. Nani? Okay. So he's probably gonna put out the wind statue. And this card says, cannot be destroyed by battle. Quick effect, he can negate a monster's effect. So that's fine. Or the Omni Negate. I guess that's fine too. Yes, because he only gets to do it once per turn. Do it. Whatever it is, we're good. Win statue. Even better. Better, 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 yeah. Woo! Let's go. I'm all alone. What are you doing over there? Yes, you can have that too. <laughs> All right. Normal summon. And activate my effect. Oh, yeah. He's like, no way, bro. I'm going to negate it. Sorry. I've got a little bit of negation action. Looking pretty good here. Bleah. Bleah. Uh, now. Now we're gonna get him. Now we're gonna get him. Let's do this. 
Let's do this. Let's go. Side frame Lord Omega. I'll teach you to mess with a true duelist. Link Shukun. Let's go. All right. Tri Brigade Kits Effect. Watch me use Tri Brigade in a more proficient manner. Yes, I Do you got anything for this? I didn't think you would. Summon. And activate its effect. I'll be banishing two cards. And don't worry, your monster will leave the field soon enough. Battle time. Attack my beast. Hmm. Here we go. Dragazi's effect activates. Summon. Summon. Atoridix. Prepare for full combo. We're gonna do it. Full combo. Summon. Watch me get some style boys. Come on, my great beast. Link Shokun. Thank you. Yeah, Link Shokun. I was thinking like, wait. <laughs> I was like, wait, am I tripping? <laughs> I was like, no, no, I'm not tripping. I was like, no, this is happening exactly how I want it to happen. Test Panther. Link two. All right. Got to protect that. Got to protect that Test Panther's effect. Adding a card. I don't think I'm going to need the rescue cat. Go back, my kitty. And I'll take my plus. Thank you very much. And I'm not done with you yet. I'll be bringing back a card. Hmm. Then. I'll be summoning another monster. This one will stop you from playing any other spell cards I don't like. And I'm not done plussing up. I'm sending this back to add another card to my hand. <laughs> Were you aware that this was my full power? <laughs> now, I'll finish it with a boss monster. I choose the omen. Go, Link Shokun. Open up the markers and clap the cheeks. Get ready to get banished. See ya. Hmm. Lay to waste. Let's go. Lay to waste. Let's go. Late to waste. 12 game win streak. Two more plat one. Let's go. Two more plat one. Let's go. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Let the opponent choose. I'll take second. I'll take it. I'll take it. Long with your life, my boy. I'll take it. All right, here we go. Going second. The weapons. I drew the weapons. Let's go. I've got the weapons, boy. 
I've got the weapons, boys. Oh my god, we've got the weapons, boys. Uh, damn, we got the weapons, boys. You control no monsters, you can add a Sky Striker card from your deck to the hand. Uh, shit, I got the weapons. Oh, you can only play one per turn. <laughs> All right, well, I do got the weapon. So this is weapon is definitely going to stop Ash or Maxi. Um, I'm not really scared of this deck. Not at all. I'm going to keep my Ash because I'm going to go in. Because, like, basically, um, you know, it's Sky Strikers. It's not, it's, you know, they're good. They got some good stuff. But I'm not scared of Sky Strikers. We can definitely stop them. Especially, you know, when you play against Sky Strikers, depending on the type of Sky Striker deck, it might just be hand trap heavy Sky Strikers. And if it is, then, you know, we got, yeah, we got this. Yeah, we got this. Yeah, we got this. We got this completely. Um, no, sir. Infinite Impermanence. Don't take anything. Don't take anything. Stop it. Yeah, we got this. I, I just stopped it only because we're gonna, we got such a heavy lead with this hand. This is just game. Yeah, this is game. Oh my God. You can't do that. You can't, man. You cannot do that. Uh, maxi, bro. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and ash the maxi. Cause we gotta save the designator for his uh, ash, which you know he has. Like, come on, <laughs> like seriously, like you know, like you know it's ash. You what, mate? You didn't let me do it. Uh, okay. He got Nibiru, maybe. That's also a possibility. He could have that. That like yeah, he could have a Nibiru. That's true. Could be Nibiru. And actually, I don't play Nibiru, and I should put a Nibiru in here. But the only reason I don't is because honestly, I I have bad luck with Nibiru. I never get Nibiru's like effect off ever. <laughs> like like I never get to use Nibiru, and I'm sure that there's like other people that feel that feel me on that but i never get to play nibiru like not even one time like i promise you it's irritating be like uh can i just please get nibiru they're like no <laughs> then you then the minute you get it your opponent like tri like does like tribute summons or something or they don't use their extra deck or it's the eater of billions or whatever the hell it's always something and i, and I never get to use it so Hence why it's not in there. But, yes, we are gonna make some short work of this man. Yeah, and we're gonna put on some damage too. Like, this guy has no idea like what's about to happen here. No idea at all. Mm -mm -mm. That's bullshit, though. I drew three cross-out designators and didn't even get to use it. I'm like, come on. That's one of the reasons why the deck is running so good. Oh my god, boys. This is 13 win streak. One win. Plat one, my boys. Oh my god. 13 game win streak. Plat one. Let's go. This is the one for the rank up, and I choose... I'm choosing second. Can we go full combo and win, my boy? Can we go full combo and win? 14 game win streak. Let's go. Uh, we're going second. We got the Ash to stop the uh, Maxi. We got Feather Duster for back row. Whoa. No way. Thunder King Ryo. No, no, it's a stun deck. No, you are not doing this. You are not doing this. 
What the fuck? No way. No way. No way. No, no way. No way. Okay, okay. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. Oh my God. This is crazy. Harpy's Feather Duster. Blow that shit up. Blow that shit up. Blow that shit up. Harpy's Feather Duster, man. Blow that shit up, dog. Yes. 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 Eat it. Eat it. Infinite impermanence. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Imperm. Yes, sir. Imperm. That maxi in your hand. That maxi in your hand is not going to save you. That maxi is not going to save you. That maxi is not going to save you. Oh, yes. Yes, brother. Yes, brother. We did it. Platinum one, baby. Let's go. We did it, boys. We did it. Plat one. Easy fucking money. Let's go. We did it, boys. Full combo. Let's go. Let's go. What you got, bro? What you got, bro? That's what I thought. Not a goddamn thing. Not a goddamn thing. That's exactly what I thought. Sitting this to the grave. Add to my hand, baby. Let's go. Let's go. What do you got, sir? What do you have? You got something to negate this? Negate it right now. Do it. I dare you. Do it. Oh, no negates? So sorry. It's time. It's time. It's time. Oh my God, this deck is so solid, bro. This deck is so solid. Yes. Oh my God. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Bam. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yes. 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 This is Gladiator Beast Glory, my boy. Yes. Yes. I have found the way, my boy. This is the way. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. He can't stop it, bro. He can't stop me. He can't, he can't stop me. It's not a goddamn thing he can do. It's over for him. It's curtains. Call it curtains. Curtains. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> what did you think was gonna happen when you came into the Coliseum cage, my boy? What did you think was gonna happen, my boy? Yes. 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 Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Actually, if I do that. Yeah, actually. Do, 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 do. Yes, I'll, st I'll still do it. Full combo, baby. Let's go. Full combo. Full combo. I'll show you full combo right now. So here we go. Test Panther will send back Tamer Editor. And sending back Tamer Editor will bring Questus. Questus effects activates and adds. Come back to the hand. Then. Because two high-level Gladiator Beast monsters have been summoned to the field, I'll contact Fuse them to bring back Tamer Editor. Then, I'll use Tamer Editor's effect to special summon back Gladiator Beast Domitianus. Yes. And with all the proper monsters aligned in the row, I'll go ahead and open it up yet again. I'm linking four monsters let them link come on out my beast 
It's the Unchained Abomination. And don't forget, I'll be drawing a card <laughs> and sending back a brick. Farewell. Full combo, boys. Gladiator V's comeback to summon Tamer Editor. Now, Tamer Editor's effect to bring forth Gladiator Beast Horaclados. Now, can you face this field? Can you take on the Gladiator Beast Challenge? Let's go. Your stun deck won't be able to survive this. Fool, did you really think that you would get that? I'll activate the power of Heraklonos and discard Raigeki. His lightning is coming so fast, it's destroyed your pot. Farewell. What else do you have? Raigeki. It's not enough. I'll be discarding a gladiator beast. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. We did it, boys. We did it, boys. We did it, boys. Yes, let's go. Let's fucking go. We did it, boys. Yes. Oh my God. We did it, boys. Yes. 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 Yes, we did it. Win streak. 14 games! 14 games! Win streak with Gladiator Beast! Let's go! 14 games! Oh my god. We gotta talk about the deck list, my boy. Let's go. We gotta talk about the deck list. Alright, my boy. YT Dan's Gladiator Masterpiece is now complete, my boy. This is a TCG ready deck, but boy, it's gonna cost you that TCG money. So, what I understood in the duel that I was having, um, I was trying to just play through the games as I normally do. And I played for three hours today. I played for three hours and grinded with the Gladiator Beast to find the weakness and find the core in the TCG deck. And this is the core. I found the core, I found the right ratio, but also I found the right number of counter play to run in this deck. <clears throat> so first off, I'm gonna talk about the starters. The main starter is Rescue Cat and Tri Brigade Fractal. If you don't got Rescue Cat or Fractal going second, then that kind of sucks. However, it's not the end of the world because if you pull Tri Brigade Kit, that's another pseudo starter because it's not the best starter, but because you had to blow your normal summon for that but it is a good starter. So you got nine initial starters on there and then um, you have your extenders. So what kind of extenders are we playing? No longer are we running Brick Gladiator Beast. So I tried to use the Andale combo and actually the Andale combo going back looking has really cost me more games than it actually won me. What really won me games was when I had the Rescue Cat and the Tri Brigade stuff. So I was trying to figure out well, where where can I fill in the gaps and what can I use? And I found that basically there's no ratio of Ash or this or this or Nibiru or anything that can save you in a rogue deck. The only thing that can save you in a rogue deck is to play the mainstream cards that people run, which is Ash, the, the Max C, Called by the Grave, and stuff like that, and run yourself three copies of Crossout Designator. So what Crossout Designator does, it's a really unique card. It says you can declare one card name and banish one of the declared cards from your main deck. And if you do that, you can negate the uh, effect of the card um, for that turn. And what's really good about this is that Crossout Designator can stop any card so it's a pseudo omni negate basically if you have the card in your deck so when i have a cross out designator in my hand it's like it's like having <coughs> for example if i have cross out designator in my hand and i'm trying to play into my opponent's board 
if my if I have Crossout Designator, I also have an Ash Blossom in my hand. I also have Called by the Grave in my hand. I also have Cyframe Gamma in my hand. I have all that in my hand. Because if my opponent plays any of that shit, I can negate it instantly with this card. But that it doesn't stop there. I also can negate Infinite Impermanence, and I also can negate Tri Brigade Revolt. Now you know I didn't play Revolt before because I didn't feel like it, it was a good fit for the deck it, because of how I played the deck. However, now that I use three of the Crossout Designators, Revolt is an excellent target for negation. So now I'm running more negates in the main deck now. So now with all this synergy of the negation, I can afford to run a package of destruction. So that's Harpy's uh, Feather Duster, Raigeki, and then I'm running Lightning Storm. If I run these three cards, I can also negate them with Cross Out Designator. So when I set up my entire board, I can set a Cross Out Designator. Or if my opponent is playing um, an Ash or a, um, a, uh, a Max C, I can use Cross Out Designator to stop those Ashes or Max C, and they normally don't have an out to a spell card. So since they don't have outs to spell cards, this gets around some most of the cards in your opponent's deck. And then I'm also running three Infinite and Permanents, which also gets around most of the cards in your opponent's deck because Infinite and Permanents is a trap body. So you got a trap body, spell body, that is hard for people to negate. Then these negates cover like 90% of everybody's decks. Then you run Cyframe Gear Gamma Package and everything else. Also, this card right here, uh, Prero Prero Cerberus, <clears throat> this card is so good. This card basically can get rid of Skill Drain and other problematic cards because if you take any damage, even burn damage, you can destroy one card on the field. You can easily put this in the grave using um, Karis's effect or Fractal's effect. So it's, it's, it's absolutely amazing. So now I'm using two Noxious and one Augustus because in my mind, to make room for these Crossout Designators, I said every time I brick with an Augustus, if it was a Crossout Designator, I could have won the duel. So I took out the Augustus. And then I added in a Noxious to make sure that I have at least four Gladiator Beast Monsters with levels, big levels, in the deck. And then I'm also running one Gladiator Beast Equestadari in the extra deck just in case I whiff or lose somehow all these cards. So now you can see that with all this stuff in the main deck and how I have it set up, because I have my starters, I have my extenders here, and then the other extenders, every gladiator beast is an extender. And then I have my negation and hand traps, which makes up the majority of the main deck. But as you know, for me to get my deck going, my win condition is to get off one attack with this monster. And all I need is any, any, any tri brigade monster and two cards in the graveyard you can pull this combo off. And with that, you can do full combo, which means you can summon a Gladiator Beast Tamer Editor that cannot be destroyed by battle. You can summon a Gladiator Beast Oroclanos that can negate and destroy at least two to five cards per turn. And you get Gladiator Beast Domiti Anus that can negate and destroy a card, which is extremely important because it couples with this card, Unchained Abomination. So let's say you're dueling against someone and they're putting bodies on the board. Well, Unchained Abomination is great because he can destroy cards at the end of the turn, but every time a card is destroyed, he can pop another card. So when Domiti Anus negates and destroys a card, then your Unchained Abomination can destroy another. Then at the end of the turn, he pops another card. I picked this up from the duelist that clapped me with the Romage deck. He used this card on me, and, and, and when he did that, I was like, Goku, I was like, this card's worth studying, and I put it right into my deck, my boy. So this is the deck, my boy. It is fully complete, so we're just gonna go through all these cards real quick so that you can fully see everything in it, my boy. It's absolutely incredible, and I have clapped 
14 games in a row. 14 games in a row. 14 games in a row with Gladiator Beast. This is the most consistent, most powerful version that I've built. And this version is built for the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game and not Master Duel. So I'm super proud of this deck. And I'm super hyped for this deck, my boy. So enjoy whatever else is next in your day, my boy. And as always, keep it dank.